All right, video number two on the trailer. We're gonna work off of, this is the passenger side. Up here we have the main kit, the trail kit. Behind here is um, plastic for the zip walls and a toe kicker, uh, Sigma Max uh, 36, a uh, RTC razor. Um, back there is a sustainer with spacers, lasers, cutting cutting rail for a, a Festool, a carpet kit, plumbing kit, personal protection kit, saw, air scrubber, a Festool MIDI box of hand tools, um, grinding inserts, and air scrubber. Let's go ahead and pull out the main. Right here. And this is what we keep in the main. Two speed squares, a template. Uh, one of these husky bags with Pam tight. Hot glue gun. What we've done is we've put all our cords on these little um, zip closures. Velcro straps, Micah says. I also keep two of the exact same grinder there. The reason for that is um, it's easier just to keep two with you. A fine uh, uh, 350 Multimaster. We keep this for the grinders right there. This is one that we don't have a bottom for, so we can put them on and off. Then inside here, Baby Sigma and uh, one of the Bosch Bulldogs. We keep the other Bosch Bulldog in a different kit that we have. And then we also keep tape in this kit. So that's what we keep in this kit. And everything goes back. You know, they talk about Kaizen and things like that as far as, um, you know, organizing for a job. I don't think Kaizen is the best way to handle it because if you're on a job site uh, and you have a trailer that has, just pop this one up here, that has um, all your tools easily organized piece by piece up in the trailer, uh, you're wasting time running back and getting it. This here is our trowel kit. A uh, couple of quick things. All the trowels I need. Um, then I also keep a set of Festool geckos, two of them. These are the most ergonomic suction cups that I know of. Go catch the window. Um, they just work really well. They're a little bit more expensive than the rest. I think these are like 68 bucks a piece. But in my opinion, they are so much better than any other type of suction cup that you get. It'd be silly. And I also want to thank uh, Dan Hecox for getting me to switch to the U-notch trowels from the half by halves. I get the same coverage with them because I'm putting them at a lower angle, but just the way that, that the mortar sets, I get very much faster 100% coverage to the back of the tile with it, even though I'm using the same amount of mortar. Next thing we do with these is, um, these lids serve a double purpose. We we'll go ahead and um, drop toilets on top of them and uh, use that. We'll put a bag down and put a toilet on top of it. That way if there's any leaking, um, it just leaks into the box. Also what we do is we put these on, a, on one of our little carts and roll that toilet around with that. Um, then every once in a while we'll go ahead and blow those off. Then we also use a couple rotary cutter mats. Um, just they're handy to have around for all sorts of different mosaic work and whatnot. There we go. Toe kicker. And then this is just a, a bag that we keep our wrapped um, four mil uh, plastic. Okay, that's the first row that we have in there. Here's the laser kit.
as you can see, two PLS uh, FT90s, a PLS2, a Bosch GLL380, and then a PLS1 distance measure. Keep them all in a Pelican uh, 1450. It just makes a lot of sense.